this uh, is an x-ray of a premature baby born at 32 weeks of gestation grunting after four hours of birth x-ray taken on day one QED RDS or respiratory distress syndrome respiratory distress syndrome in premature babies is a common problem in mature births a chemical called surfactant keeps alveoli open so that they easily fill with air and work efficiently surfactant is made by type 2 pneumocyte cells of lungs and lungs do not start making surfactant until later in pregnancy so premature babies cannot keep their alveoli open as full terms babies do such babies have to work very hard to meet their oxygen requirement the condition is known as respiratory distress syndrome or RDS the symptoms are difficulty in breathing cyanosed which is a bluish color of your skin flaring of nostrils rapid breathing which is known as tachypnea grunting sounds with breathing and chest retractions which is pull of ribs and sternum inside during breathing there are two major complications of RDS one is pneumothorax which means air in the pleural cavity pressure on lungs from baby's own efforts to breathe or from the artificial breathing machine which is known as ventilator can cause lungs to rupture which causes air to leak into pleural cavity this air causes lung to collapse the other complication is intraventricular hemorrhage which is bleeding into the ventricles of the brain so x-ray taken on day one does not show much to an inexperienced eye but experienced radiologist would argue that there is a slight haziness of lungs to suggest RDS there is an NG tube nasogastric tube in position the tube is inserted from nose passes through the esophagus and goes into the stomach mainly for feeding purpose so chest x-ray on day two shows a right-sided tension pneumothorax in less aerated lungs indicating worsening of RDS we call it tension pneumothorax because the mediastinum is pushed towards the left hand side and the collapsed lung is visible here so this is free air into pleural cavity which is known as pneumothorax another uh, chest x-ray on day two shows needle in the pleural cavity NG tube has retracted into distal esophagus and should be advanced chest x-ray day 3 first thing that you notice in this x-ray is this intercostal tube means there's a tube that is going through the ribs between two ribs intercostal which is normally attached to a suction on the other end to pull air from pleural cavity and to expand lung endotracheal tube is also visible means that patient is on artificial breathing the tube is inserted from mouth and goes into trachea and is attached to a ventilator which pushes oxygen into lungs and pulls carbon dioxide nasogastric tube is also in satisfactory position so the tube has drained the pneumothorax and although the lung is, uh, is still uh, partially collapsed notice bubbly appearance of left lung which suggests pulmonary interstitial emphysema chest x-ray day 5 intercostal tube has been removed and right lung is now almost fully expanded satisfactory position of endotracheal tube which is uh, almost in the middle of trachea uh, the NG tube should be advanced though bubbly appearance of the left lung again suggesting pulmonary interstitial emphysema and we'll discuss what is pulmonary interstitial emphysema pulmonary interstitial emphysema is a collection of gas outside of the normal air passages so air goes into the interstitial uh, tissue 
and is secondary to alveolar and terminal bronchular rupture. Pulmonary interstitial emphysema is more frequent in premature infants who require mechanical ventilation and it often occurs in conjunction with respiratory distress syndrome. The lecture is uh, prepared for www.academyofprofessionals.com. These are the references and x-rays are courtesy of Dr. Alex McLennan who is a radiologist in Royal Alexandra Hospital, United Kingdom. Thank you very much.